again. Sometimes when people come looking for a greyhound, they comment that one of the reasons they're attracted to the breed is that they have a short coat that's less likely to cause allergies. And it is true that they may cause fewer allergies than a dog with very long hair, but they can still shed and you do still need to brush them on a regular basis. I don't tend to bath my dogs, but I do brush them most weeks if I can. And I mostly use something like this, which is a shedder, and this will remove the fine undercoat from the dog, those little fluffy hairs that get everywhere. I've got some in here. So this is some that I pulled out earlier. And better to brush that out and pop that in the bin rather than chasing it round with a vacuum cleaner. So once I've been over the dog with the shedder, I then use a finer brush to work on the coat. And this is actually a very old body brush from my grooming kit when I used to ride. And it has very fine, well-packed bristles. And this will help to draw, yes, <laughs> this will help to draw the oil through the coat, making the dog shiny. It's also good for removing dandruff. And the last thing that I might use would be a grooming mitt. This is really good for dogs that have bony bits sticking out, maybe along the spine or their hips. The little bobbles here give them a good massage and you've got a smooth side which makes a good toy if Gandalf can get his drawers on it. Um, but it also is nice for giving them a bit of a polish and of course brushing them with this is a nice massage for the skin as well. So before he eats this we're going to go outside and do a bit of brushing. Yes, come on. One thing I've noticed about greyhounds over the years is how variable their coats can be. There are some differences by different colour of dog, but even within one colour, such as black, you can get different shades of black. Some dogs have a very fine, sleek coat, and others are really quite thick and fluffy in their coat. When a dog first comes for rehoming, they may have what we call kennel coat. And this is a very thick, fine, fluffy coat that is developed while they're in the kennels, hence the name. Sometimes on a black dog it can make them look brown or even ginger and you'll find that this kennel coat will gradually go over the first few months although I have found that sometimes you have to wait until the dog has their first molt before it truly goes and you're left with the dog that is the colour you thought it was going to be. Another thing that owners comment on is that their greyhound is perhaps prone to having bold patches. This is quite common on the thighs of the dog, it's also common on their tummy and no one really knows what causes these bold patches but it may be you could help it through diet. So you could consider a different kibble, you could look at supplements to add to that kibble, you could add oats or oil, you could add supplements specifically designed to help their skin and their coat you could look at probiotics that help them to digest the food better. It's certainly worth a try, but sadly no one yet has found a cure for greyhounds with bold thighs. So that's it for today. We'll be back again soon to talk some more about greyhounds.